Just in case you haven't seen my kitchen makeover, let me catch you up to speed. So I'm Allie and I moved in to my first ever apartment with my boyfriend all the way back in October 2020. This is episode two of my apartment makeover series. Last week I showed you guys how I redid my kitchen and this week we're doing the living room. By the way, this is my favorite room in the whole apartment. Anyway, this is the before of our living room. We have absolutely no furniture minus this picnic blanket and beanbag chair that have been our makeshift couch and kitchen table. So we're starting from absolute scratch. Without further ado, Welcome to Allie Goodwin's HGTV Living Room Home Makeover. Wow, that was a mouthful. I am never saying that again. Hello! I had not planned to film this living room segment for like another week. I literally just got out of the shower and I'm not filming ready, but our couch just came, which is so exciting. And I cannot wait until I look beautiful to unbox this couch because I am so excited. Tackling our living room has kind of been overwhelming. I have like a massive Pinterest board and I just like didn't know where to start. So me and Danny ended up making like tiers. So tier one is all of our base furniture. So we're just only focusing on that first. Tier two is gonna be some other things like curtains, some plants, stuff like that. And then tier three would be like if we wanna hang up pictures, small decor, dressing the sets. It's not a set, it's our actual living room. So let's get started. Woo! Nice. And here is our couch. It looks massive and I'm very excited. Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from... oh my gosh, a pillow! <laughs> now we are clearing the space to make room for her very orange couch. Oh my gosh, and it's Halloween, it's orange! <laughs> I say hollow, you say ween. Hollow. Weenies. Okay. Honestly, building this couch was a struggle. This was my first time having fake nails, which is not ideal for furniture building. We also randomly lost all our tools halfway through, but nonetheless, we prevailed. Woo! Let me try lounging. Mm. I'm lounging. Should we go on to finish our tier one of decorating? An finish. accent chair. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I said it before and I'll say okay, it. Okay, time to deal with this very sad corner full of cables and fallen decor with maybe my favorite furniture item in this video, this Sherpa chair. Sharks, it's all about the bumps in your heart. The instructions for this coffee table literally say, before you return this item, please contact us because it is apparently so hard to build, people will just give up and return it. We've been putting together a coffee table like what he said is impossible. We're doing the impossible right now. We haven't done it yet. Okay, building this wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Wait, can you help me? Okay, we're done with the base. Only a few screws left. Oh my gosh. I do yeah. adore you all of the time. Like we got a package! It's our entertainment center, so now our TV won't have to be on the floor anymore. Okay, I've already built so much furniture in front of you guys, so I'm just gonna have this built in three, two, one. I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to wait till the end reveal to see it. So I'm about to go pick up a lamp from Facebook Marketplace. I'm very excited. It looks really cute. I'm getting it for $50. The girl I'm buying it from said the lamp is originally from Target for $70. So that's not that big of a discount for a used lamp, but it looks like pretty new. I bought so much furniture for the living room because we basically had no living room furniture to start with. And I don't know why I didn't buy more stuff from Facebook Marketplace. This is literally the only thing I'm getting from Facebook Marketplace for this video. I, I literally don't know why that just occurred to me. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. Oh. After I survived bonking my head, I tested the lamp. It works all great, and I love it. You certainly need 
need a lot of caraffin. I had planned to do long white drapes over these blinds because they look just like very outdated, like very old apartment. But as I've been putting the room together, there's like a very 70s vibe going on. Anyone who's already come over always comments like, your apartment is like really 70s, or at least the living room. And I can see how that happened with the orange couch and a lot of like mid-century modern pieces, but it was, it was an accident. <laughs> I was not going for 70s vibes. I mean, I'm here for it. Anyway, all of that to say is that maybe this is a bad decision. I don't know. I feel like the old blinds kind of really fit the 70s vibe, like very outdated, but in kind of a cool way. Please let me know in the comments if you think I should take off the blinds and do curtains or keep the blinds. Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. So oh, here's something that you didn't know. So, slight confession, I don't have that many fake plants, despite feeling like I had so many fake plants. If you saw my kitchen makeover video, then you know I used a ton of fake plants. And basically all the fake plants I owned was used in that video. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna go steal some fake plants from the kitchen to put in the living room. And then my kitchen won't look as good. But just over time, I'm gonna buy more fake plants. So by the whole apartment tour, both rooms will have fake plants. Hopefully. My wallet is just like, you can't go out and buy like six fake plants right now, which I need to fill this room. So shh, we're gonna go steal some. Gonna put my biggest fake plant here to try and hide these cords. I swear this was an orchid and she looked just so beautiful, but then all her flowers fell off and she might be dead. I don't know anything about orchids, but putting her out because, you know, we're just gonna keep her alive, hopefully, until she blooms again. There's this empty space between the chair and the entertainment center, which it's so small, it's probably not worth putting literally anything there, but I have an extra fake plant, so I'm gonna put it here. Ooh, okay, you can just not see that like at all. That is way too small. Okay, one of my biggest tips is to raid your parents' house if they will let you. I ended up stacking the plant on a bunch of CDs so it has a little more height. My parents actually moved recently, so there was a ton of stuff they were going to donate in the move, and I went and grabbed some of that stuff. That's where I got all these CDs. They also gave me this lamp, and I feel like I've seen people trying to thrift things similar to this. Like, this is such a cool, like, stained glass lamp. I think I'm actually gonna put this right here. Vintage, retro, all that stuff is coming back. Back, and I'm sure that your parents have a bunch of random things tucked away in their closets that could work really like well and unique in a space. Oh my god, you guys, Danny just okay, hang on, let me sit you on a tripod because this is like a whole thing. Oh my gosh, I so we live pretty near an H-E-B and Danny walked to the H-E-B and he forgot bags so he couldn't like carry the groceries home so he just took the whole basket home. He just, he just came back with the basket with the groceries in it and you know he was gonna return it but I, I am a sucker for just random items as home decor if we haven't learned that already. So I just thought this would be really fun as a blanket holder. Like you could put blankets in this and have it like sitting out and it's like a little red basket and it's also stolen from H-E-B. Oh my gosh, you know what just occurred to me? H-E-B actually sponsored one of my videos, literally my freshman dorm video. And now this is my first post-grad apartment video. And instead of being sponsored by them, I literally stole their basket. Uh, okay, I need to stop being so dramatic. It's just a basket, it's just a basket. Okay, let's fill this with blankets. Oh, could this be a fun purse? Okay, I, what am I doing? We just got this rug from rugs.com. We had originally bought this to go in our bedroom. We just thought it was too big. So we're trying in the living room now. We just disassembled our couch. So hopefully the rug works in here because it's been some more. We did it! 
I absolutely love it. This is the rug we originally were gonna put in our living room, which honestly is such a cool rug, but I think this one worked out way better because our couch is such a neon orange. I think that rug would have been just way too busy, so I'm sad we had to return it, but I'm glad that this rug worked. Okay, I think mostly all we have left is the last finishing touches, doing some wall decor. All right, time to decorate this little corner. This wall, I don't know if you can tell, is not drywall. It's like literally wood. Like there's like wood panels and it's super hard to get like thumbtacks into the wall. So I actually couldn't push the tacks in all the way. I just like barely pushed them in. And the next night, like half the decor fell down and I thought there was intruder. It was really scary, you know? So we're not gonna go through that pain again. I'm going to try and hammer in these thumbtacks so the decor will stay up. Hopefully it works. We're finally done. I want to talk really quick about cheap decor because you've already seen us buy a lot of things for this room from the couch to the coffee table, but this corner is all super, super cheap decor that you can like easily make at home. I wish I had videos of me actually creating a lot of this art, but let me walk you through some of it. Records are always a great and expensive way to decorate, especially because the albums also have a really cool art. My local Goodwill has 99 cent records. So like I said, very inexpensive. And then I also used a ton of just like random random materials to decorate this wall. I have a decorated cassette, a CD case. I have a literal buddy buck that I got from HEB. That I also painted this book page from a book that I did not want to read anymore. And then I am by no means an artist, but I have some really simple paintings and doodles on just paper, which again, so inexpensive. And I just literally copied these all exactly from Pinterest because I'm not good at creating original art. So yeah, you don't have to have a lot of creativity or a lot of skill to do something like that. Also, one quick tip for kind of creating a random wall like this is you want everything to be random but also cohesive. So I made sure that all the pieces slash like things I painted had reds, yellows, and greens. So I think having a distinct color palette really helps tie everything together despite the fact that each individual decor item is super different from everything else. Okay, moving on. Okay, this is really random and really unimportant, but every time I like set up my camera and focus it, it automatically takes a picture in the process. And I always just like go like when it's focusing. So I have all these random pictures of me just like with me and like different backgrounds from different videos trying to focus on myself. Okay, that was the most unimportant thing ever for me to say, but I just thought that was really funny and I had to share it. Anyway, back to what actually matters. This wall, so above our couch, it's really long and this whole wall above the couch is just empty. It's just completely empty. I have been debating for so long on what to do here. Some of my ideas were to do shelves, like kind of like staggered shelves with knickknacks on them. Knickknacks? With knickknacks on them. I thought that would be fun. Also potentially doing just like one big painting, but big paintings can be really expensive. I was looking into potentially painting something myself so it wouldn't be as expensive, but just giant canvases alone are really expensive. And so what I think I have decided on is doing a random frame wall, kind of like the random wall in the corner above my chair. I want everything to be different, but still go together. Me and Danny are about to go to Goodwill and get some frames. Not only did we find a bunch of frames, but surprisingly, a lot of the frames already had good art in them. So we tried to buy frames with art we already liked. Hello, so we just got back from Goodwill and we got a lot of stuff. We got one, two, three, four, eight, nine, <laughs> nine frames. Oh my God, we, well, I guess if we're doing a whole frame wall, then nine frames is necessary. We tried to get most of the frames with art that we already like, so that way we wouldn't have to also purchase art because I was just planning to like buy prints and stuff from artists, which I still wanna do for some of these empty frames, but depending on the artist and the print, that can definitely add up. So I'm glad we have some frames with art we already like. I'm kind of struggling because I don't really know how to do like the random frame look with this big Wrigley Field piece, but I really like the Wrigley Field piece. Like if I put something else here, then it's just really symmetrical. I guess this looks kind of nice. Yeah, do I just like mirror three more paintings over there? Like I really just don't want the symmetrical look. 
Uh, so I might just leave it like this. I tried like holding up like different combos of paintings and I honestly just like wasn't loving other combos. And also I think the black frames look like a little harsh. Like I really like this like orangey like wood vibe we've got going on. So I don't really want to add in the black frames. But after my whole apartment decorating series is finished, I'm going to do an updated apartment tour because two of the rooms in my apartment the office and the bedroom i'm not doing like a makeover video for so i want to show you guys what those rooms look like and then also i feel like this room is going to be like 80 90 percent done when i'm finished with the video but probably not completely done so i would love if you guys would leave like feedback in the comments like if there's anything you don't like or you have any ideas of stuff i could add or like make that would be really fun so then in the updated like apartment tour there would be some new things that you haven't already seen Anyway, really long explanation for me to ask. Can you please let me know about the frame wall? Do you think I should add more frames or do you like just the three? Okay, moving on. So if you saw our kitchen makeover video, this is the kitchen that I did in my last video and then that way is the living room. We actually installed this flooring. There was different tile there before. There's this space in between the kitchen and the living room which I'm pretty sure is meant for like a little table for eating on, but we just sit on the couch. So I'm gonna try and find some stuff to decorate. So everything from my college apartment and from my college dorm, I actually brought to this apartment and most of it isn't out. I just shoved a lot of it under my bed, but I'm glad I kept it all because I wasn't sure like if it was gonna come handy later decor wise, because I found this pink rug that I used to have in my college bedroom. And this might be kind of weird, but I'm gonna try putting it on the floor over here. There's no pink anywhere else in the room, but I feel like it'd be fun and I like really colorful rooms. I really like how the rug fits in. It's a really fun pop of color and I just love pink and it really goes with the orange really well. And then I tried to hang up this painting. It took me like 20 tries for, I have absolutely no idea why, but it's a really cool like trippy painting. So I'm glad I finally got it hung up. surprisingly smoothly first try i got this painting from a friend who was moving out years ago and she didn't have enough room to take it with her this is the first time i've actually hung it up so if you have the storage for it and you ever come across any cool free decor keep it even if you don't have a space for it because you never know when you use it <laughs> All right, now we're gonna hang a little something above this lamp. This is a super fun, really inexpensive decor idea that Danny actually came up with. I'm taking this Patagonia magazine that has a really cool cover and framing it. I think this is such a cool idea that I never would have thought of. I know a lot of vintage stores have really like old magazines for like $10 and you could also just like raid your parents' house. I'm sure they still subscribed to a magazine or two and frame it. And then I'm just putting some little fun knickknacks in our entertainment center. And I got this cute little clock from Goodwill. These pillows I'm putting out don't really go, but they're the only ones they have, so. Guess what day it is? Well, you probably just saw on the text before, but it's reveal day. The apartment is finally done. The apartment. No, we still have so many rooms to go. The living room is finally done. So I'm so excited. I think this is gonna be my favorite video of the whole series because this is just my absolute favorite room in the whole apartment. All right, editing alley, take it away. through like my favorite areas of the room in a second but before we do that something that I didn't film is that me and Danny put LED light strips all over the room and we got some other cool like funky lights so I want to show you guys what the living room looks like at night <laughs> Near the 
kitchen. I think I did a pretty good job of like blending that into the living room. I wanted to feel like continuous and not like two separate decor styles so i think that this painting here and the rug really helped and this painting back here has like the fire is the kind of focal point of the painting which i feel like just again it draws like the orange theme into every piece like my little corner by the chair has lots of orange in it the patagonia framed magazine has the orange jacket so i try to think about my color palette a lot when designing the room and i think this is kind of the first place where that color palette starts kind of coming in from the kitchen to the living room i also really love our couch and all the decor that's going on around it i was initially really hesitant to buy this color couch we almost got an emerald colored couch but i'm really glad we got the orange it's so pretty because like the couch is pretty bold i do like how there's a lot of simple decor we just got this little area going on over here and then just the three pieces behind the couch and then the last little area of this room is this corner my favorite corner this decor was in my filming corner in college and this is where i film most of my videos now so it's like very cool that a piece of like my college decor is still here and it's still in the background of all of my recent videos. And then of course, almost all the fake plants are in this corner, so I absolutely love that. I'm partway through filming my balcony makeover right now and I've already killed some of the plants that I bought in the beginning of the video. So I think fake plants are just really gonna be my friend for most of this apartment. And yeah, that's the end of this video. That's so crazy. It's weird for me like filming the reveals because I've been working on this whole series for so long. I just can't believe I'm actually almost done with it. All right, I will see you guys next week. Bye.